Chico. Chico was uncircumcised. One time he peeled that sucker back, scared the hell out of the bus driver. I'm just kidding. <laughs> bus driver had already seen it. <laughs> Michael and Chico's dad, Mexican guy, never spoke a lick of English, and he had trouble pronouncing my name. So every time I'd walk in the house, I'd say, hey, Mr. Torres, how you doing? Good. And he'd go, hey, Vinciuero! <laughs> Every time. Turns out that's not a very nice thing to call a little kid. <laughs> Means fucking white boy. <laughs> he was a son of a bitch. <laughs> One year, my family actually messed up my name on my birthday cake. It said, Happy Birthday Brain. <laughs> You know what's really messed up? I was the one that caught it! <laughs> the baker baked it. Her supervisor said, snazzy cake. Mamma picked it up at Safeway. My mom and Uncle Greg lit the candles. We sang the birthday tune. And I caught it. My Uncle Greg goes, oh shit. Well, ain't you a smart motherfucker? Go get your Pop-Tart and go sit down, Brian. <laughs> He's a son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love my Uncle Greg. He's always been my hero ever since I was a little kid. He only spanked me one time growing up, and it's because I lit the bed on fire. <laughs> and he always taught me, Brian, the more you go to the gym, the less you got to worry about what your face looks like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I go to the gym a lot. <laughs> and the more I go to the gym, the more I realize that it's like any other workplace. You know, you got full timers and you got part timers. There's always a little bit of gossip going around the, the water fountain. And there's always some old guy in spandex bicycle shorts. And he looks like he's smuggling a large breed dog toy from Costco. <laughs> Ew. And he's got to be related to Captain Morgan because he's always doing this. <laughs> and, and you try not to look, you know. But curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> And apparently Randy stuffed it down his bike shorts. <laughs> and now there's this, uh, you know, the shorty shorts are starting to come back. And I could never, I could never get away with shorty shorts. <laughs> One year when I was in high school, my, uh, my guidance counselor called me into his office. And he said, Brian, you know, I picture you delivering babies. And I said, like a doctor, this is great. You know, I got a C average. He said, no, like a stork, you gangly son of a bitch. <laughs> he was the son of a bitch. <laughs> and now there's this fad going through the gym. It's like a gimmick, I think. It's the Darth Vader mask, if anybody's seen this. It's a mask that you literally strap onto your face while you're working out. And it, it makes it harder to breathe, right? Restricts your airways. It's ridiculous. First off, I had asthma as a child. <laughs> I can tell you for a fact that restricting my airways in no way improved my performance in sports. <laughs> a little trot, and it was usually me on the sideline flopping like a landed salmon. <laughs> and the coach yelling, somebody call his mom. It's going to pass. Well, pass away, think he peed a little. <laughs> Call his mommy. <laughs> and the first time I ran into this Vader mask thing at the gym, I was running on the treadmill. It scared the shit out of me. Because I'm running pretty good clip, too. 
and I hear <laughs> pull up beside me and I look real hard, like a double take kind of thing. And that's when my foot made some sort of car crashing sound. And I got shot the fuck off the treadmill. <laughs> it was a calamity. I'm a lot of limb. And I get up and I dust myself off. And everybody's looking at me like I'm the asshole. <laughs> but you got Darth Vader sitting here in a sun's out, guns out tank top. And he sounds like Jacques fucking Cousteau on a deep sea dive. <laughs> That's my time, guys. My name's Brian Snow. <laughs> Thank you.